specifically if you go back to the content that we have when we are preparing for your RBI grade B exam, the syllabus for management is very, very easy if you compare it with the UPSC. The content is definitely very less and the scoring also can be expected to be like very good if you compare it with the UPSC. Usually what happens is students who are preparing for UPSC are mostly also giving uh, RBI grade B exam. And since the notification is out, you can expect the exam also uh, to be very much in accordance to the kind of preparation you are doing, right? So how you can prepare for management and what is going to be the, uh, like what are all what all are the Im very important topics that you need to focus on because see for specifically management if i talk about the since the syllabus is very less there are few very important topics you can prepare for your objective so for objective usually it is um, there is honestly no uh, important topics everything can be termed uh, uh, like important under that umbrella but if you go to the subjective questions where you have to do an answer writing part there there are certain very particular questions if you go back to the previous year questions analysis i have in, uh, like uh, included certain topics for today's discussion where you will be seeing the uh, topics that have been frequently asked and you can expect this uh, this pattern to be again repeated in the upcoming exam Okay, so, but since the preparation is going to be thorough and we are going to be studying each and every topic very clearly and in detail. So let's just do a quick management uh, subject analysis in context to the RBI grade B exam, right? So specifically, if I talk about paper two, because FM finance and management is uh, a part of your paper two. After you have qualified the paper, like the paper one is done, then you are attempting your paper two. So specifically for the paper two exam, there has been uh, like certain very important uh, topics that are there. There is definitely English. that there is English writing and skills that is uh, usually a descriptive type and then there is economics and social issues where is there is an objective 50 percent and descriptive 50 percent and then you have your finance and management which we are going to be discussing today right so finance management is basically 50 percent objective and you can expect 50 percent descriptive specifically if I talk about from management perspective you can expect about 45 to 50 marks in total for the specifically devoted to your management subject right and if you are doing it all together then this is basically the percentages divided into in the uh, context of your objective questions and in the context of your subjective questions right so the key area of focus is going to be definitely throughout like the through your, the entire thorough management syllabus okay So the structure of management and business ethics, if I talk about, let's just specifically talk about the management and business ethics for today's uh, discussion specifically, okay? So to uh, the first, uh, these are the, like, the, ma mo the major, major topics that are there. This is basically a part of your usually economics. You can, you will be covering under your economics labels also. But if I talk about the core management subject, you are going to be studying about the fundamentals of management. You are going to be studying OB, that is organizational behavior, everything that is associated with the, that, that, the uh, concept of motivation, leadership, right, the different theories and everything that is there. Then also you are going to be studying about the business ethics at work, okay, the, what is, uh, how, what, what is the definition of corporate government, what are, how is the entire procedure of corporate government like maintained and controlled and everything, okay. So for management, I'll be teaching you these two main, main important topics. There are certain topics that I'll be also be teaching you for the business ethics. Uh, but for management, I think you have got an idea what you're going to be studying. So I have broken down your syllabus for management under, under certain categories, okay? Let's just first understand for the management in particular, okay, and the OB because they are both uh, you know core uh, topics for your ma as a management student which you can expect always 
so the highlighted question students are those uh, topics which are very very important you have to like give a little more attention while preparing for your rbi grade b exam okay so these are the highlighted those topics which are important from from your A rbi grade b exam like i have told you so try to be like when you are studying them try to do some certain like the frequency of your answer writing should be more on th these particular topics not that others should be neglected i'm not saying that but you have to have a prime focus that if you are doing certain questions for this then this the these particular important topics the frequency of answer writing should be more so that you get very well versed with the entire uh, and you're comfortable attempting any kind of a question that comes under these topics so the first thing that you have to study is basically the introduction of management the definition of the management everything that what are, what all uh, how um, the management plays a role in the entire business dynamics and everything then you are going to be studying with me about the evolution of management and thought okay the evolution of man the scientific theory the administrative theory everything you know managerial there have been specific philosophers who have in included specific manage managerial theories we are going to be doing that then you are going to be doing human relations and system approach of management system as in the entire together how the entire organization works what are the like different uh, dynamics which together come and play the role of uh, controlling and uh, supervising the management okay then definitely manage, manage management functions manager roles what are the key responsibilities of the manager right what are the uh, barriers that any manager come across with then you have nudge theory nudge theory is basically talking about the how an employee is motivated right so nudge theory is basically talking about the how an employee is uh, motivated in context of his or her personality right to perform and pushing a person to, for a behavioral change for the benefit of the organization only right so that is we are going to be completing then the, there are five big five uh, models of personality this comes under the different uh, modes of, uh, of uh, like you know personality where there is openness there is consciousness right the kind of uh, so basically the, the big five model there i be you we will be studying it in a diagrammatical form also you need to like when you are attempting this these kind of questions you know and especially for a de descriptive question you can draw the chart also where you can you know picture it out that all the five different personality models right and that is going to be here under the topic of fundamentals of management and organizational behavior moving on then you have again certain more topics that are there the first thing that is there is meaning and concept of organizational behavior and when i talk about meaning of uh, and the concept of an organizational behavior you need to be thorough with the meaning you need to include specific you need to know like what are the key points when which you have to include if the term organizational behavior is asked to you to explain right then you have different theories of mot motivation you need to be very thorough with that right and then you have the topic of perception like you have to understand the concept what are the perceptual errors right what are the kind of the, so basically when i talk about the very important uh, like you know understanding for the the perceptual error like you can expect certain questions from this topic also and this is basically uh, further there are there's a concept of process theories where you have equity adams equity theory vroom's expectancy theory you will be studying that then very important topic that is going to be leadership where you are going to be studying about the different theories there is a trait theory there is a behavioral theory contingency right if you have studied management then also and if you haven't not also this you, you are going to be finding the topic of leadership very interesting right then you have transactional tran transformational leadership then you have emotional intelligence ei as a topic it's again a very um, you know very creative topic for you to answer and you can expect questions from this then you have analysis of interpersonal relationship in an organization and the transactional analysis okay then again under the topic of fundamentals of management and ob 
you are going to be studying about the concept of conflict conflict itself is a very detailed topic so you need to understand the concept the source of the rbi everything that can be uh, you know uh, there in association with the concept of conflict keeping management uh, perspective in mind then the types of conflict the management of conflict and everything okay then you are going to be studying about the organizational change again it's very important topic where you will be studying about the concept the curl leven theory very very important it's basically usually as a management student you can always expect certain questions from the kurt leven theory and there is again theories of planned change this leven change model action research model positive model right you have to just know the models and you have to like these models are something that you can easily like you know remember also during your exam preparation and when you are re-revising it again and again and you are practicing enough uh, objective and the dis, you know subjective questions this is going to be very very significantly helpful okay then another topic that comes under obs organizational development where you are going to be talking about the organizational change the strategies for change and so forth okay so everything is there uh, that you can see here the topics are very very easy and the syllabus is very very you know confined there is the the syllabus is not at all lengthy and you can easily cover this topic uh, in the coming days all you have to do is do is be regular in your preparation okay then further we have the second sub topic that i have included here where it's talking about the ethics at the workplace and the corporate governance okay corporate governance itself is very important so you need to be very uh, thorough with the topic of ethics what are the ethical problem that occur in any business organization then you have to know all the theories of ethics one by one we'll be covering everything then alternate view of principle the virtual ethics the theological theory the egoism theory the relativism theory all these are very uh, interesting theories we'll be doing that under the topic of ethics okay and uh, they are going to be make you very you know understand the fact that how the behavioral change affect the usually the end result of any organizational uh, growth right then the ethical principle in the business the introduction organizational structure ethics roles of boards or directors okay then you have utilitarianism right you are going to be doing that with me it's a very interesting topic then you have to be doing the weighing co social cause benefits justice and fairness rights and duties ethics of care inti integrating utility okay everything comes under the topic of topic of utilitarianism okay then you have best practices in ethics program code of ethics code of conduct everything definitely the th these theories have not been that much as but you can when you are preparing for your exam you can since i am i told you for objective there is no important topic for objective kind of questions so ter key terms of all these Uh, different theories one liner definitions and everything can be a part of it and specifically if you talk about the the utilitarianism then you definitely you can expect questions from this also because it's basically a new term sometimes students don't uh, study this so you can expect questions from this in your objective paper okay then you have moral issues in accordance with the business ethics in compliance finance human resources marketing all the different areas that are there in the business model it's going to be including that then you have communication what are the steps in the communication process everything that is there all right then you have oral versus written communication when you are doing the topic of communication we'll be doing a clear difference also what are the specific communication channels for the delivering of information right what is the definition of noise and so forth everything that is there then the other topics are the difference between the verbal and the non verbal communication okay these are the specific topics that are there in the ethics of at the workplace and the corporate governance further in the topic of communication only you are going to be studying about the barriers in communi to communication okay what are what is the difference between upward and downward and the lateral communication theory and then you could be doing the communication lateral communication definition with me in accordance to that you are going to be also studying about the role of it since right now this is very uh, a very prominent question that can be asked from 
this so you can expect a question from role of it in your objective uh, paper right now i have included a very uh, clear and a very summarized way for you to understand that how, what how the comparison if you see the previous your questions and if you try to understand the trends that has been there so if you compare the objective paper with the subjective paper if you ask me that uh, ma'am which, which is an important topic like i told you for objective you have to be like very general about it and you have to focus on all the topics that are there you cannot like like you know pinpoint on any specific topic and say ma'am is it important for the obje objective because definitely the usually for management since the marks weightage is usually 45 to 50 so the questions are going to be very basic only but for objective paper for management there is no important topic everything that is there you have to do and there are easy topics also as you can see here there are there is fundamentals of ob personality and perception ei conflict organizational change corporate governance and, and governance and ethics <clears throat> but if you talk about the subjective paper here i have included a list of six very important topics after the uh, you know the previous year analysis the, the topics of leadership communication organizational change and reinforcement corporate governance and ethics is important this third particular topic that i have included and i have uh, you know highlighted here is because the questions that have been asked from general management if you compare the other topics of subjective paper are much more so the weightage of marks that have been asked from the topic of general management has been much more in comparison to the other topics these have been the prominent topics but if among these six also if you compare any that and you ask me them which is the most important as per the pre previous year questions so the ex examiner also try to set up the paper keeping a lot of uh, pyqs and everything in mind so you can expect questions again from these topics and you have to be you know specifically top studying these topic in much more detail and practicing the questions also uh, much more if you compare it with any other uh, you know topic that is there in the management subject right so this is going to be our discussion for today uh, this is uh, everything that is there in accordance to the syllabus of management for your rbi grade p paper right you can go ahead and you can read the um, you know syllabus again and if you have any doubts you can uh, contact me right